This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Carolina Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Uptown Charlotte and rain-soaked Bank of America Stadium. A short time ago, a scene that never fails to stir up the folks here in Charlotte. Cam Newton strutting his way onto the field. His guys are fired up as they get set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Cam Newton bringing out the Carolina Panthers in this last week of the preseason against New England. He took a pretty good hit when he ran the football. After the game, he said, you know, my running ability is a gift, yes, but he also referred to it as a bit of a curse. Well, let's use the gift in the regular season, not the preseason. I'm quite sure that's what his head coach and organization was thinking because he takes off, he gets upended, lands on his face mask essentially and comes out of it with a black eye and they were happy that that was all that happened to him so yeah he says a lion has to roar in terms of his talents let him roar starting september 9. Four down, four down. Ten, eight, eight. newton on first down and thomas has it and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line that throw good for four it's second down and the offensive starters for the Panthers. By now, you know I love running backs, and C.J. Anderson caught my eye in a big way in 2017. His first 1,000-yard season on the ground, a little bit over 1,000 yards with 1,007, but over 1,200 yards from scrimmage, so you know you can catch it out of the backfield as well. An exciting runner, a powerful runner, and a guy who can be physical when necessary. On second down, here's Newton. This one complete to Devin Funches. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. carry it's cj anderson and he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine and now the defense for dallas i think most people locked in on byron jones when he came out of uconn at the nfl combine where he darn near jumped out of the stadium because of his vertical leap but there's so much more to his game than that played cornerback and safety in college and they can use that same ability to move them around in the NFL in order to create great matchups on defense for Dallas. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line, linebackers really work well together. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Back deep is Tavon Austin. a little too close to the goal line and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be brought out by a man who hails from Sulphur, Louisiana played his college ball at Mississippi State. The quarterback, Dak Prescott. The numbers he put up as a rookie, outstanding. But were they really truly sustainable? Remember, they were 13-3 and three as rookie season. They ended up going 9-7 in 2017. How about they went from four interceptions in 2016 as a rookie to 13 his second year? These are numbers that you didn't expect to stay the same. I do expect Dak Prescott to continue to get better and better as a quarterback in the NFL. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Offensive starters now for the Cowboys. This offense begins and ends with Ezekiel Elliott. He played in only 10 games last year after leading the league in rushing as a rookie, but still led the league in rushing yards per game for the second year in a row. When he gets his hands on the football, everyone comes to the edge of their seat. Second down, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and one, here's Prescott. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? 
aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here's Michael Pilardi now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. It'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Now the Cowboys' offense heads back onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. for the Dallas first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Space to run past the 20. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. First opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Hey, 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 hey. A first down carry by Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. <laughs> Point after try, forthcoming. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Just a four-play drive that time. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott.
out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. They've had it twice, they punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Newton now on second down. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. possessions the running game starting to come to the front for them providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going another run this time McCaffrey and some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. left and no room that time getting it to about the 46 only a yard there on the keeper and that's going to leave them with a third down and if you like defensive football focus on the defensive end on this play he does everything exactly right reads the play and make sure he spills it for a small gain the Panthers on third down just one for three thus far they're up against a third and one situation here's Newton over the middle, it's Thomas. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The 13 yards that time and a first. Nice connection there with Ian Thomas, a rookie out of Indiana. And he's one of those guys that I truly believe his best football is ahead of him. Always has been a consistent blocker. His receiving gets better and better. I thought 2017 with IU, he was terrific. And now and he gives a great addition to the Carolina Panthers passing game. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. On first down, this is McCaffrey, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Set. 
To throw on second down is Newton. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Newton now to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And before the punt, time is going to run out on this first quarter. It's a close game here early on. We're back to Uptown Charlotte after this timeout. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So a press count to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 11. They start on the ground with Elliott. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Tackle made there by Mike Adams, a strong safety. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, Elliott. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He's going to float this one deep right side. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It's certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. And 
And the punt team on now as this one's set away. Fair catch called for. No gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and ten. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Second down, McCaffrey. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And he gets it to Finch's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. They all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They go play action here on first down. French is with a catch over the middle. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A good pick up there at 22. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. From the red zone now, Newton. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it's a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. On second down, Anderson. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up. And then the big finish with the tackle. The Panthers on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Out of the gun, Newton. And he finds a man. It's also And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. False start. Offense. And that'll set them back five. Still first down. False start knocks him back behind the 10 now as they'll try again. First and goal. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. False start. Offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw first down, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. And they'll try again here, first and goal after the false start. From the gun, here's Newton. Funches has it complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw on second down. Newton throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. False start. Offense. So that'll back him up five. Still third down. A bad time for a false start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. Now Newton on third and goal. And almost intercepted. Would have been a huge pick in the end zone, but as it stands, that brings up fourth. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Fourth down, and here's Graham Gano now in the field goal unit for the Panthers. And Gano's kick is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six?
After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. This is Elliott. And not a whole lot doing there as they're getting up to about the 28-yard line. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Again, it's Elliott. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's got a man, it's Williams. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Prescott on first down. He finds Hearns left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards through the air and a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that's incomplete. The all-pro linebacker Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. They're a good number of coaches that any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. And it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. All these years we've been watching the game, I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out, those guys have to touch the ball and carry it. They're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Following 
during the fumble recovery. Newton. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence able to get him for a loss of about three. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. They fake the give, Newton. And that is incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Third and long, it's Newton. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now here come the Cowboys. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead, you've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Prescott off play action. A dump off to Elliott. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A gain of 39 that time. Real far, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Second down, Prescott. Looking for his tight end on the corner, it's complete. 
And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Prescott now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Design run for their wide out. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. They'll try to run it in with And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. This Carolina defense looking to keep him out of the end zone once more. Third and goal. Here's Elliott, and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage, back at the six. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. And this one is right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. The 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Newton on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. But with the incompletion there, gives us time to hit on the retirement. Charles of Eric Decker, of course, played for the Broncos, Jets, and Titans, was with the Patriots this preseason, but now he's going to step aside. I think he had a fantastic career because look at it this way. Getting 1,000 yards in one season for a receiver, that's a career for most people. He did it three times. Best year in Denver in 2013. 87 catches, almost 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns. Congratulations on a wonderful career, Eric Decker. Newton now to throw. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. As they will stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. The Panthers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This time it's third and three. A shotgun snap for Newton. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and they just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here's Austin. A very good return that time. 18 yards and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field he's been good his guys are winning so far the recipe working here in the second quarter and he doesn't like to just tote the rock he wants to carry his team on his back and that's what he's done throughout this game yeah he's done that he'll be hoping to continue that trend Now a play fake here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again to Elliott. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock.
The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We want to remind you that new this year in regular season games, I'll take you around the NFL and give you stats and scores from games in progress as well as look back at games that have already been completed. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First down, Prescott. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Cowboys on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed great hands and big bodies which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Prescott now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Ten more there and another first down. 
and the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher it often works when they decide to dial it up So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. A first down throw for Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game down. for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he gets it down to the 32. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. down carry for Smith and he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine when you find that kind of yardage you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier and guess what you're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator I'd like to keep carrying it thank you the first carry for Bo Scarborough. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Hot, 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 hot. 
Cole Beasley from six yards away. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 17-3. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense now. They head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Panthers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This will be third and five. Here's Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background, right? A little bit. Yeah. Started minor league yeah, ball. You did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It, starts... whether it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the play off. Here's Michael Pilardi now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. But now Dallas gets set to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. Is it, I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Right, 
The give is to Elliott. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10 yard line. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. up to about the 14. Tackle made by K1 Short. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Prescott now. That's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And 12 yards that time and picking up the first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Prescott now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They go play action here on first down. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And that one results in 35 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Dontari Poe in on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Prescott now on second down. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. Prescott from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Yeah. 
And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Cam's going to run the option right. And he'll running right through it. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. To throw on second down is Newton. And Olsen over the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Four down. Set. 180. Yeah. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. They'll run with Elliott. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there as they move the chains. That type of run right there, that just fires me up when I watch it because that's maybe the most underrated aspect of his game. The ability to break tackles and know where the first down chains are and pick them up. He's tough, good pedigree. Dad Stacy was a linebacker at Missouri. Yeah, and how about mom on the track team? So I think that's where the speed came from. And, she just, and she's not shy about letting us know that, too. <laughs> yeah, I got the best of both worlds. to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports and we're back now in charlotte it's the cowboys with a the football they'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth back to him on first down and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47 just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two sometime in this fourth quarter someone on defense got to step up and force a turnover Yeah, and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 
Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now Elliott. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. On first and ten, Prescott airing it out for Hearns. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow... Incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Well, they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Here's Prescott toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And a pickup of about four down inside the ten to the eight-yard line. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. On third down, it's Prescott. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he had a nifty little deep juke move, but he stopped shortly thereafter. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though?
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if something got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. False start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. And the Panthers, who were the least penalized team in the entire NFL last year, come up here on a first and 15. Ready, ready, ready. From the gun, here's Newton. Over the middle. It's incomplete. He was looking for Jarius right that time. And that'll bring up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game. And to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on. And they just play better and better. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's Newton now on second down. Dancing to his left. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. sideline but they're going to rule him out of bounds so it'll be incomplete and certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down and that's a crusher right there had his man open for a first down threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary incomplete pass one of these quarterbacks going to learn you don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football desperation time Newton fourth down Jordan Lewis right there on the coverage. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. And out now come the Cowboys. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. 
On third down, Elliott. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. you think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Ready, 180, 180. On second down, here's Newton. And his throw is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Newton on third down. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Newton now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. On first and ten, Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On second and ten, Newton. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the return will stop right around the 25. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you
you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Elliott. And able to work his way down to the 16. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Soft through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. two there and it's third down an interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra dbs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense i thought they were going to switch out of it i didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was well, in any event the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So out comes the field goal team once more. This will be a 34-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again here, Cam Newton marches back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one, but... Let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Looking to throw on second down. Newton throwing middle. 
but it's incomplete. Sean Lee, the linebacker, able to get a hand in and coverage. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And that's caught by Smith. And able to get this one across the 35 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. good for three and it's second down what you? Ah! to the air again Newton and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down didn't have a receiver open downfield and as it turned out couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage it's way too tight unable to find anyone open they head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down Throwing on third down, Newton. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Jeff Heath, the strong safety, able to get in there on the coverage. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. Now Austin. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel, no one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Well, they did it very convincingly, and now the final moments of this one. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves them with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, 
We're going to call timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Here's Elliott. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And they'll run it here. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Or are you I, one of those guys that's skeptical, skeptical about it? Or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice, got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.